Hi, and welcome to 60 Plus Seconds with Amatherm. In today's topic, we'll discuss DC motor inrush current and what you need to know to preserve your DC motor. So what does inrush current have to do with a DC motor? More than you may think. To begin with, a DC motor converts electrical energy into mechanical energy. How does it do that? With two key components, the stator and the rotor. The stator is the static component of a DC motor that houses the field windings and receives the electrical supply. The rotor is the component that enables the DC motor to mechanically rotate while in use. DC motor inrush current is the surge of incoming current that occurs when the motor is first switched on and a leading cause of motor failure. Did you know that DC inrush current can be as much as two to three times the motor's steady state current? And although lasting a mere one to two seconds, that's all it takes to cause motor failure. So it's important to know how to limit that inrush current. We know that inrush current will occur at startup, but beware, it can also occur anytime there's a change in load. Either way, the repercussions can be damaging and costly. So inrush current limiters to the rescue. Inrush current is like a time bomb waiting to explode. Power sources attached to a DC motor, such as a fuse or circuit breaker, can short out, which could mean lights out. DC motors are used in many industries, such as automotive, industrial, aerospace, and medical. Their applications can include electric cars, elevators, hoist, and medical equipment. Those applications and many others all benefit from inrush current limiters. Did you know that DC motors operate much of the equipment inside airports? Conveyors rely on inrush current limiters to keep their DC motors from failing due to high inrush current. Take care of your DC motor and get the right inrush current limiter for your application. Reduce operating expense, system downtime, and most of all, your stress. We'll show you just how easy it is to get the right inrush current limiter for your application in three simple steps. Let's get started. Confused? Don't worry, it's easy. First, we'll convert horsepower into watts. Then we'll determine the energy rating you'll need. And finally, we'll calculate the minimum resistance. Before we begin, we need to make a few assumptions. In this example, input voltage equals 24 volts. Inrush current equals three times the steady state current, and the duration of inrush current equals 200 milliseconds. Let's calculate. Step one, convert horsepower into watts. In this example, we used our assumptions to convert the horsepower to watts so that we could calculate the steady state current. Then using the steady state current to calculate the amount of inrush current we need to reduce by 50%. Step two, these calculations determine the energy rating you'll need plus the amount of energy the inrush current limiter must absorb without failure. In this example, E energy equals the instantaneous input power times duration of inrush current. Instantaneous input power equals input voltage times the inrush current. Step 3. This calculation determines the minimum resistance needed to reduce the inrush current from 93 to 47 amps reducing the inrush current by nearly 50%. So what did those calculations tell us? That our inrush current limiter MS351R040 is the right component for this application. Problem solved. Your DC motor runs at peak performance and the attached power sources run efficiently. Standing the test of time, Amatherm's inrush current limiters are rugged, reliable, cost-effective, and recognized by UL and CSA. Manufactured in the USA, Amatherm's inrush current limiters are used by electrical engineers worldwide. Well, we've covered quite a bit today, so if you have questions, we've got your answers. If you'd like to learn more about input voltage, duration of inrush current, converting horsepower or stator and rotor, Connect with us. Thanks for spending 60 plus seconds with Amatherm. 
To learn more about our products and services, please visit us at www.amatherm.com. Our engineers love to share.